This video is going to be about um, entities and free energy. So there you go, entities and free energy. So let's talk about what an entity is. Okay, so if you want to go by the dictionary definition of what entity is, it just means thing, something. An idea, an ideal, a creation, something that's created, okay? Something to that effect, a subject. So anything can be an entity. But in commonplace, we tend to think an uh, entity as something to worship. Like we worship entities or an entity is a spirit or something to that extent. When we think about the word entity, when we say it, you know what I mean? A lot of times when we're thinking about entities in the form of a spirit, we tend to correlate the word entity with a god or something to worship as far as entity. Okay? So, let's just take it, you know, and be real general and not direct this into anybody's specific god or person of worship. But it could mean anything. Allah, Jesus, God, whatever. Okay? Jehovah, whoever right anybody so don't get all offended if this is your first time watching this channel you know you you may want to turn it off because this may hurt somebody's feelings but um that's not the point so if you want to stick around and get to the point please pull up a seat and let's chat so yeah entity um hey man hold out on the whistling <laughs> entity um as far as it being something to be worshipped, um, let's think about that for a, se for a second. If you take the, the dictionary's definition of what entity is and then take what people think an entity is, it's something that was created. So your God, your, your deity, if you will, that you worship is something that was created, an idea, a subject, something, anything, entity something was was created so the point that i'm trying to make with this is that when someone creates an entity um people tend to give this entity or subject or creation um energy so remember wherever attention goes energy flows so if you're giving something attention your, your, your attention, you're giving it energy. So you're giving an entity energy, okay? So it's kind of scary when you look at that in the, the form of organized religion. So you're giving an entity all of your energy. So who is the person that created this entity, this subject, this thing, this idea? Nine times out of ten, the person whoever created the entity is reaping the energy for themselves for whatever reason. And like I said, if you put this in the context of religion, it's kind of scary. So let's take it out of the context of religion. Let's take it out of the context of religion and let's just take it for what it is. An idea. Um, McDonald's. McDonald's is an entity. The Golden Arches is an entity. So that means that you give all your energy to McDonald's, somebody is reaping that energy. Okay? Simple. Um, right now, uh, today, um, the Golden State Warriors, I don't know when this video is going to air, so this may be a little, it may be a little late, but um, right now the Golden State Warriors is in the championship and a sports team is an entity new the new england patriots th though that's an entity um the los angeles lakers is an entity chicago bulls entity um because it's an idea of something so let's 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 stop for a second and let's get away from mcdonald's get away 
well, we're going to continue on sports, but let's dig deeper into sports because that's kind of important here. It's, it's going to kind of drive my point home. So when you're dealing with a sports team as an entity, something that you feed your, in, your, your attention to, there's always a color on the jersey. And remember, colors work with your chakras and program your chakras when you're dealing with colors flashing on the screen running by you back and forth this is playing on your chakra system okay so the colors of a team is important when it's an entity because remember it's something that someone created that they're creating for a reason so there's a color now who's your favorite player on the team more than likely it's a melanated being. That's another prime um, fat in um, energy absorption, okay? But nonetheless, um, I'm pretty sure your favorite player has a number on his jersey. Numbers also program the psyche. This is what numerology is about because every number is a symbol that has a meaning. So number 27, on your favorite team whose colors is gold and purple is playing on a Monday. Remember, these games are strategically placed on certain days to reap more energy. S Mondays, is every day is correlated with a planetary energy. So it's awfully funny and it's not by accident that these games are played on Sundays, Mondays, Thursdays, Fridays, you know what I mean? There's, there's a reason for this because each day is connected to a planet which holds a certain energy. So now you have colors, you have numbers, and you have planets connected to an entity that you're putting all of your attention on. You know the stats, you know the history, you know the records. That's a lot of attention towards an entity that is not yours. I'll get to the point, don't worry about it. So now someone is reaping this energy, right? Like for example, in the Bay Area, the energy is high. The series is tied to two. The, the energy in the Bay Area is high. Everybody's like, go Dubs, go Warriors. It is what it is. So you can feel it. When you go outside, you can feel the energy. Everybody's juiced as fuck, right? They're juiced. Just like anything like that has a current, you can dive in. Energy is a currency. Just like money is energy. Do I have some money? <laughs> Do I have some money? This is a piece of paper. Okay? This is a piece of paper. That's all it is. But what makes this powerful is that we've agreed ideally as an entity that this has value. So now as this energy moves from place to place, it has a current, just like currents in the ocean. That's an energy, it's a current. That's why they call it currency because it's a current of energy, okay? Nonetheless. Um, back to the whole getting free energy. I'm going to show you how to get free energy. So right now the energy outside is high, right? I want some of that energy. Why? Why not? Whoever owns the sports teams, they're reaping the energy and probably doing all kind of rituals with it. That's what they do. For what reasons? I don't know. But I want the energy so I can do what I do with it. So I can manifest. Energy plus melanin equals manifestation, okay? So I wanna manifest. How do you tap into the free energy? It's out there, it's there, it's high. It's with your thoughts, it's with your mental. All you gotta do is own it. Take a piece of that energy, meditate, go deep into meditation, focus on the energy, feel it here. Own it, it's yours. Take it, it's free. Why not? If you have free PG&E, you know what I'm saying? I bet you'll take that. 
You know what I'm saying? If they left the PG&E on, you didn't have to pay the bill. I bet you take that energy. Well, this is the equivalent of that. But it's for, it's energy for your soul. You see what I'm saying? It's energy for your soul. You know? It's free. It's yours. Take it. Take it! You want it tonight? Take it! it! Apollo Holy Ghost! Oh, look Take it! it! Never seen nobody on the like it. Take it! Take it! Take it! They gonna do it. You use it.